In Groomer's Tool version 13, a new set of Maya interactive curve tools is introduced. Let's take a look. You can notice the Sculpt tool and the Add tool are both moved to this window now, along with five other tools. Sculpt tool will allow you to shape the curves in your viewport. If you do not have any curve selected, the tool will try to get the closest curve in the click point. To sculpt, simply click on your mouse and drag to shape the curves. To adjust the radius of the sculpt tool, hold on Ctrl and left mouse button and drag. You can also have a few more curves selected for sculpting. Hold middle mouse button and drag will allow you to smooth the curves. You have the option to lock or unlock the root of your curves. You can also lock the length of your curves. The normalized button allow you to evenly spread out the CVs after sculpting. The Sculpt tool pushes the CVs. After sculpting the curves, you might find the CVs on curves are too close or too far away from each other. Click on Normalize button will smooth the CVs out evenly. When you use middle mouse button to smooth out curves, a smooth factor is applied. You can set the smooth strength to control the amount of smoothing on curves. Next, we will look at the Add Curve tool. This tool allows you to add a curve in between surrounding curves based on your click point on a mesh. You will need a mesh and a few curves on the region to be able to add a curve. The search distance is an important setting here. Think of it as a radius from the click point. Setting the search distance lower will take in less curves from the click points. It will be faster to process. Setting the search distance higher will allow the tool to take in more curves as reference to generate a curve. However, if there are too many curves, adding a curve can be slower. New Curve CV Settings allows you to set the CV count when you use middle mouse click. Now, you will have the ability to directly cut the curves using a drag method. Hold on left mouse button and drag to see the yellow points, this is the area that it will cut the curves. You can also cut multiple curves at same time. By default, the radius influence is off. This means that all selected curves will be cut. Turn Radius Influence on will allow the Cut tool to only have an effect on curves within the radius of the tool. To cut the root of curves, turn on the Reverse Cut direction.
The slide sensitivity allows you to control how fast the yellow dots move when you drag the mouse. If you set it to 1, it will be very sensitive, and the yellow dot goes to the root almost right away. Setting it to a lower value allows you to have finer control of the cut regions along the curves. Next, we have the Draw Curve tool. To draw a curve, you will require a geometry to start with. If you try to draw without a mesh, it will not create anything. With a curve selected, Hold on middle mouse button to attach a drawn curve to the selected curve. You can also draw and attach with multiple curves selected. By default, rebuild when drawn is turned on. If you set it off, there will be a lot of CV on the newly drawn curves. If Rebuild when drawn is on, the tool will take the value from the Rebuild CV count slider and apply it to the new curve. When each curve is drawn, a smooth factor is applied. If you set it to zero and turn off the rebuild when drawn, there will be no smooth effect. Setting the smooth factor higher will result in a more smooth curve. Next, we have a new drag and attach curve tool. To demonstrate this better, I am drawing an extension for an existing curve. Let's say I want to continue the waves down the same curve. This time, I can use the attach curve tool to do this. The attach curve tool takes a portion of existing curve, cut it, and attach it to the tip of the curve. You can also use the attach tool on multiple curves selected. Similar to Maya's own Extend Curve tool, I have also added an Extend Curve tool, but it comes with a rebuild function after Extend. If the rebuild CVs are turned off, you will end up having a lot of CV at the tip of the curves. Increase the Extend Multiplier if you want the curve to extend longer. However, when extension gets too long, and the Rebuild CV is turned on, the curve will change shape a lot. Turn the Rebuild CV off if you wish to maintain the shape of the curves. Finally, we have the Move Curve tool. You can use this tool to move the curves, and the curves will stick to the underlying geometry.
You can also duplicate a curve and use the Move Curve tool to make sure the root of the curve is attached to the underlying geometry. See how the curve is jittering. Moving with orientation on is probably something you don't want sometimes. You can turn the orient off to retain the rotation of the curve.